Hello and welcome to tutorial 99 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. And I was asked by uh, somebody on the email list how one would go about creating a program such that some information was displayed, for example, at the bottom right hand corner of the chart. And then as we moved the chart around, or let me just uh, reposition that and then click here. As we stretched and moved the chart you'll see that that information stays in the relatively uh, about the same place and it could use this for displaying some information that you wanted to see all the time. In this particular case I've just got a couple of exponential moving averages so clearly I've already written the program and what I've done is just deleted the uh, the program and uh, we can just recreate it from scratch. So here we are at the moment just going to uh, verify that and uh, so let's go go ahead and start the program. We're going to be using the charting host object and uh, we can find that by just double clicking here in the toolbox and uh, there we can see the charting host and in terms of the properties of that we're going to be using uh, a couple of a uh, couple of different ones in this case. One of them is going to be on size. So what I'm going to do is just double click there and another one we're going to use is on initial update. So I'm just going to double click there and then what I'm going to do is just uh, copy the information from the designer generated code just so that you can see exactly what's going on all in the program and we don't have to rely on the object at the bottom of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to for the moment copy this in here. I'm also going to get these two methods and I'll copy those as well. I'm just going to get rid of some of this extra information. Okay so I'm going to put those at the top of the the program and uh, we're going to be using a few namespaces in this program and one of them we can see right here is the charting host namespace and uh, or rather the charting namespace so I'm just going to declare that and uh, we do that saying using charting like so and then having done that we can then remove that from here like so and it's going to get again rid of some of this commentary and uh, and so on and then what I'm going to do is use a once statement so I'm going to say once begin and uh, going to have some of this information here again. I'm just going to try and keep this thing a little bit easier to read without so much commentary. Okay, so we can see the program beginning to take shape. And I just noticed I've misspelled begin there. That should be begin, of course. Okay, so uh, that is the, uh, the first thing. Another thing that uh, we need to do here is just delete this now because we've included the information in our actual program. I know that I'm going to be using another couple of namespaces so I'm just going to add those in up here. Um, EL system and also EL system drawing objects. like so. Now in both of these methods we're going to be calculating the width and the height. We're going to need a variable. It's uh, an xy point sort of variable and I'm going to call it xypt and then we're going to be calculating the the value of that xy point. So we're going to say xypt equals and we're going to use this xy point use the dot operator create and we then need to give it the width and the 
height or some calculation of that. So to find the width returned by this method we just put in args dot and you'll see width there and then we want to move it in slightly from the edge so I'm just going to put in minus 100 pixels and then similarly we want the args dot and uh, we're going to use height and in this case I've just multiplied that by 0.9 which just brings it slightly up from the bottom of the screen and uh, we're going to be creating some text in a moment, we're going to call it text1 and text2 but um, text one dot point value that is going to be set to equal to x y point which is the x y thing that we just created a second ago so that's text one and we're going to do something very similar for text two so I'm just going to copy this and we're going to use x y point again except this time we're going to make it instead of 0 0.9 we're going to make it 0 0.85 and this instead of being text one dot point value this is going to be text two dot point value and uh, going to use exactly the same syntax in the on initial update method so I'm just going to copy that and replace this here with that syntax okay so that is taking care of the position of the text when we either size the chart or we do the initial update what we need to do now is create the text uh, values and uh, put them in some initial position so what I'm going to do is say text 1 is equal to text label dot create and uh, we need to give that a XY point so rather than doing this in a separate line I'm just going to say XY point and uh, going to put in create uh, put in a couple of arbitrary um, coordinates there and then we need to tell it what value we're going to put in there we need to supply this as a string so I'm going to say num to string and uh, just going to use x average bracket c 30 so 30 moving uh, uh, exponential moving average we can do that to five decimal places and we just need to close out our brackets there so I'm going to do very similar for text 2 so I'm just going to copy this so this is now going to be text 2 except in this particular case it's going to be the 10 okay and what I want to do is make sure that uh, this text persists remember uh, if you don't put this then what's going to happen is it's going to be it's going to flash on the screen then it's going to disappear unless we resupply every tick we're not going to do in this case so I'm going to just say text one dot persist is true and text two dot persist is true and uh, we created those uh, those drawing objects we need to actually add them to the chart now so we go drawing object dot add and then we just tell it the the name of the drawing object we want to add which is text1 and text2 okay we're also going to need uh, a couple of variables up here that we've not created so far uh, in addition to the charting host we're going to need text label variables so let's just go ahead and create those the text label and we're going to call them text1 initial value null and text label text2 also null like so okay now that's setting up things um, initially and also repositioning things as the 
chart develops. But one other thing we're going to need to do is just make sure that we continually update those values as the chart recalculates as new price information comes in. So we're just going to change the text string and we're going to do that by using text one dot text string and then num to string x average and again we'll do it to five decimal places and we're going to do something very similar for text two so that is going to be text two and I'm just going to vary the calculation a little bit. Of course you could put in here your own calculations uh, if you wanted to do something different. Okay so I'm going to verify this and let's just see if we've made any syntax errors and we have as usual so let's just have a look here it looks like a misspelled label so I'm just going to change that to label and uh, verify it again and then go to the chart and you'll see that uh, that text is appearing as it did before. Okay so I hope you might find this uh, tutorial useful and you could apply it to something that you're doing. I will make this program available simple as it is and uh, if that interests you then uh, you can go ahead and download that for a nominal fee and also if uh, you just want to uh, tell me that uh, these tutorials have been useful to you you might also want to just download the program and that uh, helps uh, me defray some of the costs of running this site. Anyway, uh, thank you very much.